Hello, hello, hello. Question, have you ever found yourself hanging around people who don't make you feel the best? Have you ever found yourself constantly in the same circumstance over and over and over again, even though you know it's not really beneficial to you? Well, thanks for starting your day with Dr. J. That's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the fact that so many of us need to let go of what doesn't serve us. Just breathe and let go of what no longer serves you. Mm, mm, mm. We have to make a determination in our heart that we will absolutely enjoy this wonderful life full of bliss, joy, and happiness, and we will be on that journey on a daily basis intentionally. In order for us to do that, we absolutely have to change up a few things. We're going to have to let go of what no longer serves us. So if a particular friend no longer serves you because that person doesn't know how to celebrate you, they only know how to tolerate you. They're always in your space. You're always in their space. But for some reason, you don't vibe. You're not aligned. You don't get along. They want to go left. You want to go right. They want to go up. You want to go down. And God forbid that be your lover or your husband or your your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. But how many of us find ourselves in situations with people that just are not beneficial to us? It's not productive relationship. We're always arguing. We're always fighting. Or we just don't agree. We don't get along. But yet we constantly put ourselves in that environment. And then we constantly find ourselves drained and wonder why our energy is all soaked up. When we know without a shadow of a doubt, when we walk into that person's presence our goodness our our bliss was going to be set dry do yourself a favor and give them the gift of goodbye that's an amazing book by a phenomenal my phenomenal mentor apostle david brown the gift of goodbye let me tell you something you have to have it in your heart the ability and the choice and the dignity and the pride and the self-respect and the self-love to know that you are to be celebrated 24 7 so you need to let go when no longer serves you so if going to an environment a specific building a specific place is not good for you then just don't do it if you know you have addictive patterns and you know they're set off when you go to a certain place it no longer serves you Stop sabotaging yourself. If you constantly go around a person and you never vibe, stop sabotaging yourself. Learn to be where you are celebrated, not tolerated. Yesterday, we actually talked about being alone. We have to learn to love on ourselves and be phenomenal within ourselves and then we will stop seeking it outside of ourselves and keep banging our head and being around people who don't love us who don't edify us who don't lift us up and we wonder why our energy is always set is because they are sucking you dry they are parasites and some people don't mean any harm but you have to protect yourself there are people around you who want your money, who want your time, who want your energy, who want your good looks, who just want to be around you for your title, for who you think, who they think you would represent to help them in their lives. It has nothing to do with you as a loving being. So you have to learn how to decipher. And some of those people have your blood running through their veins, but still, you have to learn how to decipher. What's a good place? Who's a good person? And I'm not saying cut everybody off all the time. What I'm saying is don't inundate yourself and max out your schedule on draining places and draining people because you deserve to be happy. I'm going to keep telling you over and over and over again because I know that so many people hear me saying they deserve to be happy, but do they really know they deserve to be happy? Because I'm telling you, when you know you deserve to be happy, you walk different. When you know you deserve to be happy, you talk different. When you know you deserve to be happy, it's certain things you absolutely will not tolerate. So I'm here to say today, love on yourself and let go of what no longer serves you. Whether it be a job and you just map out the time 
to when you can do your escape or whether it be a relationship or whether it be a zip code or even whether it be a place where you live or a car that you drive, what no longer serves you. Your life should be full of bliss and joy. This world is our playground. And if we have not achieved that as of yet, we need to be working on it every day. So I want you to have a great day on purpose. Thanks for stopping by with the J Dreamers, where we dream until our dreams come true. We are not going to settle for anything less because you know how we do. It's exciting to be excited. It's phenomenal to be phenomenal. It's, woo, it's so obvious to be obvious. So come on now. Let's be caring to be caring. Let's just love one another and loving ourselves. Have a great day on purpose.